So oftentimes in math class, you might encounter a problem like this. Find the area of a triangle that has a base of 2 and a height of 3. We know that the area of a triangle is equal to um, 1 half times base times height. Now this is fine. But what we need to do in a problem like this is we need to define what those values are. So what we can do is we can define a couple variables to hold the values of 2 and 3. So we might say something like, let b be the base and let h be the height. This allows us to simplify things. All we need to do is substitute the values of 2 and 3 inside of our formula now since we know that b is the base and we know h is the height. And what we're going to end up with after we do the math is a value of a equals 3. 1 half times 2 times 3. That's going to give us 3 again. So what we've done here is we've essentially created two temporary storage containers to hold the value of 2 and 3. In programming, this is often a necessity. So you might be able, let's say for example you're creating an, an old video game that has a top 10 scoreboard. You need something to store those 10 scores. You also need something to store the names that the, t that the scores are associated with. So what we can do in our programs is we can create these containers. These containers, again, just as in math class, are called variables. Variables have the ability to be changed. They also have the ability to be looked at. But that's really about it. You can store a new value in it, and you can, and you can change the value. So let's think about this. Another way of looking at it is think of it like a bucket. A bucket does nothing but allow you to put something in and take it out. All right, that is it. Well, what can we store in a bucket? Well, that depends on what the bucket's made out of. A metal bucket, you can store things like water, sand, dirt. However, in something like a paper bucket, don't know why you'd have a paper bucket, but if you had a paper bucket, you'd be you'd be wouldn't be able to store water or anything like that. If you had a plastic bucket, you wouldn't be able to store certain things like acids or whatnot that could burn right through the plastic. So what we're getting at here is that each different type of storage container is built for a different type of substance. Well, the same thing works with variables. There's different types of containers for different types of data. The types of data might be simple things like text or numbers or anything in between. So that is why we need variables.